when you go to google and type best chicken recipe and you want your app to be shown as the first search result in the google search page then this video is important for you hey logical people chikabi here in this video i will talk about how to make sure your content is visible to google so that it can rank your website just one quick disclaimer this video is not about seo tips and tricks this video is about understanding how nextjs or a react app works more precisely this video is about understanding how react renders data to the web page and once you understand that only then you can apply the seo tricks and trust me unless you understand how react renders the page it really doesn't matter what you do from seo point of view you will never rank on top in the google search engine or in any search engine for that matter all right so without further ado let's get started so what i've designed is an extremely simple product or a component i'm calling it demo seo what it does basically if i go to the home page and i refresh the page you will see that the user sees loading please wait for 5 seconds and then the data pops in so this is a typical way of you know showing something to the user while you know you're fetching the data from the database or you're validating something you might want to show the user that hey please wait for a while while we are processing your request right so this is something very typical but the problem with this approach is that if i press control u and go to the sources and i you know to the line wrap when i look at the data that was sent to the website it was only loading please wait so there is no way on earth google will know that your web page is about product title 1 and in order to help google understand that yes your page is about product title 1 the way we did you know baked chicken because the data that was sent to the browser had a content and the content was only loading please wait hmm so how do we fix it so let's have a look what we have done so far so the way we have designed our component is extremely simple so i have created a state variable calling it products at the starting it's empty so i'm saying if there is no product then just return loading please wait and that's what you see when i refresh here at the starting you say you see loading please wait and then i use use effect to simulate a uh, data that is fetching from the database so i use set timeout for 5 seconds so i wait for 5 seconds and then i set the products to this dummy variables right and then this is written and hence you see product 1 and 2 and 3 so far so good but our problem is that this line is executed before this and then react hydrates my component with the you know appropriate data hmm so the way we want to fix this is that even before this component is loaded we want to prefetch the data somehow right so that's our goal and for react and next year that is actually not very complex what we need to do is we need to define another function and the function name is get static prop and the function name has to be this way so i'm going to say const get static props like this and then this function should return always should return an object and that object should have a key of props and the prop should also be an object you know something like this okay i could say name and i could say gkv like this and of course we have to export this so that we are able to find this what will have happen internally is that before even running this component this function will be ran by react and then the props variable that we get in this component will already have this value so i'm going to say props like this and then i'm going to say log i want to see in the console what do i get as a prop okay if i go back to my website clear everything and refresh so in the props i get an object so key is name and value is gkv okay so we're going to use something like this to populate our data so whenever you have to fetch something from the database what you're going to do is you're going to cut all the logic from here come here and you're going to say const products equals to that thing because we don't want this so i'm going to remove all this like this okay so we're going to return the product like this and then we're going to refresh the page and we are obviously logging the props object so we're going to expand that we have name and we got product beautiful now all you need to do is you need to technically remove this you can say const products equals to props dot products 
like this you can do it this way or if you want you can do it that way both are fine whichever way you prefer okay i like it this way so i'm going to deconstruct products from the props object now i don't need the use effect now i also don't need this item because i know that whenever whenever um, this component is loaded i already have the products because product has been prefetched in the get static props so if i save this go back refresh the page i already have the data and now if i press ctrl u and go to the page source if i scroll down you will see that it indeed have all the products as an html data now since this page has been returned at the first page to the browser google will be able to you know rank your pages for these keywords lovely right perfect so before you go i'm i want to talk about one more thing which is very important and most of the people miss this and therefore they take a lot of time just to debug why their get static props is not working and just before i give you those details i have a I have three requests. So here are three zero cost actions that you can take today, like right now, to support this channel. And I think you know this, I'm just gonna say it out loud anyway. Number one, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Number two is like the video. And last but not least, you can share this video with someone who you think might benefit from this video, okay? Beautiful, thank you for that. So coming back, what I have noticed time after time is that I really want get static props to work. And I am one of those that who has made this mistake in the past and I really don't want you guys to you know waste your time figuring out why your get static prop is not working. So here it is. The get static prop function only works for the pages. What I mean by that is you might have a lot of components within your you know React app and within a component, let's say I'm going for layout and within the layout you have something that you want to return. And you thought, you know what, I don't want my users to wait and I don't want, and I really want this page to be ranked within Google. Therefore, I'm just going to use get static prop within my components. For example, layout like this. If you do this, this will not work because, because the way React or Next.js is set up is that it will call get static prop function before calling the main let's say component it will not work if you put it inside layout within here it will not work no if you want to use get static prop you need to use it within the pages right so for example index page home page demo page and when i say page i'm pretty sure you know this but just to you know for the sake of completeness whenever i say page that means that whatever you can browse here so if i go for index page you're gonna see something different but for the sake of the demo i have designed it here by the way, I'm also creating a website of it's okay to be logical so that I can share all the different, you know, resources and all the different apps that I have. You guys can use and make benefit out of it. Okay. Sorry, coming back. As I said, the get static prop will only work for the pages, not for your individual components. Okay. So if you're interested to understand how to make your app production ready, here's the video that you should watch. GKB signing off. Until next video. See you there. Cheers.